I've been asked by someone who is restoring a car like mine to show them the engine compartment and everything that's in it and tell them about it so that they can try to duplicate theirs. So here we go. This is the driver's side of the firewall and here we have the horn relay. This is a uh, capacitor I've hooked to the regulator to reduce static in the AM radio. This is the voltage regulator. I have a stock engine compartment light here that turns on and off that I can use at night. The uh, carburetor float or uh, settlement bowl and uh, fuel pump. This is the throttle cable. The oil filler cap. Down here is the oil pressure sender. And I have a secondary oil pressure gauge that uses this, this capillary tube goes down here and then we have I also have a secondary water pre temperature gauge that the sender is installed in place of the original driver side sender that this wire was hooked to and it's just spliced together to go to the other side The, uh, there was a question about the vacuum hose. There's only one vacuum hose, and that's for the windshield wipers, and this is it right here. And it plugs into the this fitting under the carburetor that also goes to the vacuum line, goes over here to the, down to the distributor for the vacuum brake. So that's the only, and this is a uh, one-way valve, check valve in the vacuum to uh, keep the vacuum from being lost when you accelerate. And that's the only vacuum hose. Down here we have, there's a grease fitting here that you've got to pay, pay attention to when you're greasing the car. I like the Autolite spark plugs with the black base. I like the looks of them better. The oil gauge, the horns. This is the oil filter. Here we have the coil with the coil resistor. So the uh, power comes from the battery to this side goes through the resistor and into the coil on that side. This secondary wire here is uh, to bypass this resistor when I'm starting. It runs through a diode so that I get direct current to the coil, not through the resistor when I'm starting. And then after I start, I just get it through the resistor here. And there was a question about the spark plug wiring. The distributor is down here and the wires go through this boot and through the conduit and out the conduit at various places to the spark plugs. So that's how the spark plugs are wired. I don't have the panel in front of my radiator because I have the fresh air heater that takes the air into this duct here and down here and goes into my heater fan and into the car. There was some question about the heater hose routing. The hot water comes out of the top of the engine block in this fitting I have installed a water control valve 
that I can control the flow of water that then goes through into the heater at the top of the heater it could go in the bottom as well I don't think it makes any difference and after it comes out of the heater it goes down to a T in the bottom radiator hose there's the distributor you can see the condenser for the distributor the generator the carburetor is a uh, Stromberg 97 which was not original for this car it had a uh, Holly 94 but I like the Stromberg better you got the oil bath oil filter Pardon the dirt of my engine compartment. I haven't washed it since I drove it to Alaska and back and some off-roading recently. Here's the 6-volt battery that I have. Uh, it's a stock Napa 6-volt battery that I have installed a uh, retro kit with the little lead bars and Ford words on the top of the filler. And there's also a Ford sticker that goes on the side. These additional wires on my battery clamps are to charge the extra battery I have in the trunk for use on my Alaska trip when I needed 12 volts at night for my tent. So that's what these extra wires are on the battery clamps. It's a positive ground battery I think that may be all there is to tell about in the engine compartment now we'll go inside there was some question about the installation of the heater controls with my fresh air heater and my hot water controller I have all of these knobs. The left knob is for the defrost. The center knob is for the fan control. The right knob controls airflow through that duct under the hood. And this black knob controls the hot water flow. Under here you can see the two tubes for my auxiliary gauges. The left one is for the temperature and the right one is for the oil pressure. I have those gauges installed in my glove box so they don't distract from the stock look of the dashboard and but I can look at them if I want to. Uh, my sound system is another matter. It's what this uh, little headphone amp and those switches up in the top are to switch my speaker between the headphone amp that runs my mp3 player and the stock AM radio. I have here a 12 volt plug that I used on my Alaska trip to power my computer. It goes through that voltage booster hooked directly to the battery. I have in my car a kill switch that I have in emergencies if I've got the throttle pulled out on cruise control and have to do an emergency stop quicker than I can push in. I have this kill switch and uh, I have this little pilot light there by the ignition switch that comes on when I turn the kill switch on to remind me that that relay is energized so I remember to turn that off. Underneath here I have this is my turn signal switch for my rear turn signals in my window. This part here the switch itself is original to the turn signals that just stick in the back window. This is buzzers 
to uh, remind me that that turn signal is on. This is the dimmer for the, dash, the dashboard gauge lights. This is the switch for my interior light. This is the switch for my electric fuel pump that also has a indicator light to remind me it's on. This switch is for my fog lights that includes a indicator light to remind me that those are on. And I think that is about it. Just one more little piece showing this uh, fresh air heater. That's where the air comes in and uh, comes out the bottom. And it looks like my defroster hoses come off there. But there's a panel under here when you pull the defroster. That panel goes up and directs the air to the defrost hose. Otherwise it comes out the floor.